found something. Most families keep their skeletons in the closet. There were actually six bodies in this episode, but a lot of them doubled for one character. Say the Fred character who gets killed and then pushed out of the moving house. We had four bodies just for him for different pieces that were needed for the show. I get to investigate and work with some rather gruesome corpses. Uh, one gentleman was hit by a car, so he's actually uh, missing a leg and an arm that are strewn across the road. And it's quite disgusting. And I was so struck by this particular corpse because the head looks so real. It's, it's spooky. I actually had a tough time looking at it. Only one head of him. We only had enough money to make one head. And then that head was moved from body to body as we needed it. We started out with the autopsy body first, which it has to be perfectly blended on. And of course, he's been run over several times. So we crushed part of the ribs on the open autopsy. And then that same day that the autopsy worked, we had to cut the head off, put it on another articulated body. And then from that, we had to take that off and put it on the crime scene body, which was the scene before we take him to autopsy. So there was a lot of maneuvering as far as that was concerned. And then we had the mummified body, which was in the wall. First shot we had on that was in autopsy. The head had to be cut off the uh, mummified body. It had to be put in a boiling water where the flesh was boiled off. Then the skull was pulled out clean and Doc Robbins examined it and saw the tool marks from the tool in the head. All of that was done in a morning and then the body goes back to us and luckily we had a couple of days to put the body back together so it works later on in the wall. There's about two sentences in the script, and it says, cut to the guy in the wall decomposing. It's two sentences, and it's gonna take us all day to shoot that. So uh, the director came up with, well, I wanna start at the hands, I wanna move up to the arm and around, and I wanna see the face, and the whole time it's decomposing. We have to actually do the makeup on the actor to make his arm swell, to make his belly swell. And then we have to take him back to the makeup trailer and do a decaying look on his face. And then we have to take him back to the trailer again and do a wrinkly face look. And within all of those shots, they will take those and then composite that into a moving shot where it's constantly decaying and uh, you'll see the face then turn into the skeleton we've made. Of course, we have to set up a motion control shot where they set up the camera to move the same way every time. The big one for this episode is The Mummy, where you're gonna watch this actor, the character Walter, go through four different stages of makeup and become the finished product of a mummy. And then we'll sort of see you decompose as you're turning. So they'll say, action, the camera moves up the arm and up to the face. Then they'll say cut, camera will go back down, and it does the same shot over and over again. So we really have to make sure that the person is lined up exactly the way he is every time we take him out and bring him back. In this case, as Russell and Finn are investigating a case, you as the audience are on the same, are on the same journey. So a shot like this, like we're, we're gonna watch a body decompose and you know the actors are talking about it and they're showing exactly what happened. We basically take the audience on the same journey visually. It turns out our mummy is the biological daddy of Marla, but not Dwayne and Jimmy. Well, looks like Lois Hicks stepped out on her husband. And then also within that shot, the CG company uh, will take that and then go in and manipulate it too. So it's a combination of makeup and CG effects, which we love to do. My body was stuffed into the house. This person, you know, was in there for 20 years and the body mummified over that time. So this shot we're doing here is an illustration of that. So today's work is sort of shooting things, getting as much practical as we can, creating the transition between all the film passes and then every, every pass is a different stage of decomp and then we put those together and it looks like the body is changing over time, which is sort of a signature effect of the show. Amazing how much damage a big rig can do. 
Good way to dispose of a body. We have done so much death and destruction to people. <laughs> One in particular was a girl was killed and she was put in the back of a video game. And then there was another one about hoarders. And they walk in and of course Nick puts his foot right in the chest of the girl who's been in de decaying. And that was cool. I think it just became evidence. I sometimes marvel, you know, because I'm the coroner, I get to see everybody who's dead. And Matthew is essentially the guy that makes sure that it looks real. On one hand, that's a very gruesome, very specific task. On, on the other hand, it's funny as hell. On a Monday morning, the, the script called for a shark kill somebody in a Vegas pool, and they kill the shark, and I have to autopsy the shark, Matthew Mungel. He and his team, I can't say enough about him. It's not fantasy to them. They really attempt and often succeed at recreating the way it is. There's just so many things on this show we do, and I, I cannot wait every week to get a new script to see what they're gonna come up with.